overwork and underpaid and you might be feeling the same way but does that mean careers are dead i'm starting to think that there's something else that is dying and that is this perfect job security so what i want to talk about today is if careers are dead and job security is a thing of the past then what's the answer you know what one thing that i see that's still alive and well and you might know where i'm going with this are contract jobs tell me the last time you went looking for a job on linkedin or indeed and how many jobs were contract jobs I remember when I started my career change to break into tech, I kept seeing a lot of contract jobs and I just overlooked it because you've probably heard this before. There's no job security. Sometimes the pay is low. There's no promotional opportunities. You can be fired at any time. But now with the job marking looking the way it is, where it feels impossible to get a job, can you really be sure that a full-time permanent job is a safe bet compared to contract jobs? Now, hear me out. Before you say, oh, hell no, I'm not doing no contract job. I just want to address some of the things and reasons we never looked at contract jobs. And to throw out there that maybe people with the contract jobs are winning but there's certain strategies those people are using to win in 2024. If there are so many contract jobs, that means there are people working. What are they doing? One thing I noticed, a lot of the well-paying, high-paying, in-demand skill sets that are contract jobs are in tech. There are a lot in the cybersecurity sector, IT administrators, cloud engineers and so forth so maybe there can be a good reason to consider a contract job now i know you're thinking but what about the health insurance and what about investing for your retirement well think about this let's say you're being offered a contract job six figures and they're offering you a chance to earn a license let's say a security clearance and they'll even sponsor your training for other certifications let's say security plus comsha cisco and other it related administrative roles now let's say you're being offered a full-time job but that job is only paying sixty-five thousand. yes there's some health benefits but they're okay the investment they're not even matching the 401k so the benefits have gone down there's no job security there's no pension and they're not even offering tuition reimbursement but you have a contract job working for the government where if they like you or once you put on your resume that you work with this government agency other government agencies are now checking for you and now you can move around to other government agencies because you have the industry knowledge right now. It's starting to become kind of hard to justify throwing contract jobs out the window for a permanent job when these companies now are posting so many garbage jobs. They're ghosting you. Honestly, it's kind of disrespectful the way that they're treating employees nowadays. And then even if you're lucky enough to get hired, Oh, you're going to be working the job of two or three people because they're cutting back the budget and they don't want to hire people. So guess what? You won't be getting a promotion anyway. So maybe there are some circumstances under which a contract job would be worth it. Once you get your foot in the door, you will now have experience in the industry. They offer tuition reimbursement or certification preparation or job training, and perhaps they offer remote opportunities. So now you have the work-life balance you want. 
and now you can remote and now you're being offered a higher salary. So now with that higher salary, just know you need to save that because you're gonna have to pay for your own health insurance. So once that contract ends, you don't know for sure if they'll continue you or turn you into a permanent employee, but at least while you're there, you're going to be networking with those people. You're gonna build up your network, add those people to your LinkedIn, learn about their background, and skill set and now those people can vouch for you because you've been working together right so tell me about those parameters tell me how you feel about those options if you know this contract job can offer you networking opportunities because you know unless you know someone it's so much harder to get your foot in the door you're going to have someone who can vouch for you who could speak on your behalf you're going to have hands-on projects you're going to have more evidence to increase your portfolio. You're going to have evidence to add to your LinkedIn. You're going to have certifications you can add to your LinkedIn now. So now those are all things that are going to make you more employable. That's gonna increase your market value. The other job, even if it was a permanent full-time company, there's so many people who are saying they got laid off within weeks or months of joining that company. In tech, we call this last in, first out. Usually the last people to get hired, the newbies that came in are usually the first people to get fired and laid off. And I don't want that to happen to you. So before you throw in the towel on the contract jobs, I want you to tell me if you want to know more about contract jobs and you want me to do more research on this for you. And what are some circumstances you think would make you go to a contract job? Or are you still saying no? I don't care if it's even offering the bells and whistles, I'm not doing it. Now, I know people who worked contract jobs and they've had a great experience. So is it the case that you don't know anyone who's working a contract job or you, no matter what, don't want to do it? Let me know in the comments. And if you know someone who is also struggling to find a job, the unemployed, overworked, underpaid, but maybe they have the flexibility to work a contract job. Definitely share this with them because my goal here is to help you level up your career. And we're going to use all of the available resources, including tech and AI, to help you reach your goals. So like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments how you feel about contract jobs. Real talk. See you in the next video.